Hi, I'm Sara. Welcome to my beauty corner. Look how much snow! I love snow, but it's also cold. So as I promised, we still need to make a knitted scarf to match our cute beanie. It's just as simple and you don't need any additional tools for it. So let's not wait any longer and let's make our beanie a matching friend. To make this lovely scarf, we are going to use the same knitting loom that we used for the beanie. Here is a quick recap on how to simply create your own loom at home. Take the cookie box or any other rounded object and bobby pins. First I cut away the upper part of my box to get rid of the double edge. Then I can attach the bobby pins on the edge of the box like this. I like to place two pins together and leave a good centimeter or half an inch between each pair. Apply some hot glue next to and over the pins. To finish the loom, just glue a final pin to the bottom of the box like so. For more detailed instructions on how to make a loom, check my DIY beanie tutorial. Ok, now let's knit a warm scarf. Same as for the beanie, you will only need some yarn, scissors, knitting hook and a needle. To start off, wrap the yarn around the pin at the bottom of the box twice. This will ensure that the end of the yarn stays in place while knitting. Then start wrapping the yarn around the pins. It doesn't matter if you work your way clockwise or counterclockwise around the loom, but it is important how you wrap the yarn around each pin. Make sure that the loop is always on the outer side, while on the inner side you have this connecting line of yarn. Continue wrapping the yarn around the pins and think about how wide you want your scarf to be. I'm making a narrower scarf, so I'm going just half away around the loom, meaning 20 pins. But if you want a wider scarf, go around some more pins. When you reach your final pin, make a normal loop, but instead of continuing to the following pin, lead the yarn outside of the loom like that. And then start wrapping the yarn backwards to where we started. Again, make sure that you have the loops on the outer side and the connecting yarn on the inner side. Keep the loops loose, as this will make your life easier afterwards when you'll be pulling the bottom loops over the top ones. When you've wrapped the yarn around all the pins, leave the working yarn sticking out like this. Then take a hook and start pulling the bottom loops over the top ones. Grab the bottom loop, put it over the top one and over the pin. If you don't own a knitting hook, you can make one from a piece of wire or you can even work without it. In this case, it's important that you make really loose loops when you're wrapping the yarn around the pins. When you're done with the first row, push it down to make space for the next one. Take the working yarn, go past the first pin like this and then start wrapping the yarn around the rest of the pins. I'm using the same yarn as I did to make my beanie so I can wear them together. This yarn is also quite thick, so it will keep me very warm. But remember that if the yarn you have is very thin, you can knit with two yarns together too and they will work as a single thicker one. See how I left the yarn sticking out when I reached the end of the row? Now it's time to again pull the bottom yarn over the top and over the pin. When I'm doing this, I like to use my thumb to hold the yarn down and prevent the top yarn to slide off the pin. Push the work down again. Now on to the third row. I want my scarf to have random red stripes all over, so here I'm switching the color. When a particular row is finished, simply cut the working yarn and leave enough of it to make a knot. I'm taking the red yarn and making a simple knot together with the white yarn. Try to make the knot on the edge as close to the scarf as possible. Then just continue kneading with the red yarn in the same way as before. You can make your scarf of one solid color or you can use more than two colors of yarn. You can also decide to switch the colors more often as me and you'll end up with many fine stripes. I want to have random stripes in red and white, some wider, some thinner. Then just continue these two steps. Wrap the yarn around the pins and pull the bottom loops over the top ones. Here I'm again switching to the white colored yarn. 
I'm planning to knit some matching scarves and hats as Christmas presents for my family. I think this is an awesome gift idea that everyone would be happy to receive. It's a bit more time consuming to make a scarf than a hat because of its length, but in the end it's well worth it. Look how long my scarf is already, just the final row and it would be just perfect for me. Now I'll show you the tricky part of this DIY tutorial, how to finish the scarf. It's important to do it in this particular way to get a neat edge and most importantly to secure our work. Pull the first loop from the pin onto the hook. Then take the working yarn and wrap it around the hook like this. Now you need to pull the first loop over the second one and off the hook. Make sure the second loop is still on the hook. To continue, add the loop from the second pin and wrap the working yarn around the hook. Now you have three loops on the hook. You need to pull the second and the first one over the third one and over the hook end. Continue these steps until you take all the loops off your pins. Here I'm again pulling the second loop over the third loop and over the hook end. And then I'm pulling the first loop over the third one and over the hook end. I received a comment on Google Plus on my DIY beanie video from a girl who said that the combination of this red and white yarn reminds her of Wally from Where's Wally book series. It reminded me so much of my primary school days when we used to look for Wally in the books in our library. And these two colors truly resemble the ones of Wally's red and white striped shirt. When you reach your last pin, the scarf comes off the loom. Make a knot in the corner and cut the excess yarn. Since I switched the yarn color several times, I have some more excess yarn to trim along my scarf. On the other end of the scarf, you still have this first yarn end picking out. Don't cut this one yet. Here you can use the needle if you want, or you can just make two simple knots to secure it like me. Trim the excess yarn and we're finished! I'm so pleased with my new scarf and beanie and have been wearing both loads this winter. They're pretty handy here up north because of the cold, yet they look super cute, which is always a plus. Once upon a time a young girl lived in a small town near the woods. It was a Sunday afternoon, late in November, and she decided to go pick some pine cones. So many beautiful pine cones were leading her off the main path and without realizing she was walking deeper into the woods. She was
was a scary night, but fortunately my scarf and beanie kept me warm. It's almost Christmas, but my biggest wish already came true. I made so many amazing friends this year. And you're one of them. I love you all so much.